Hi, and welcome to our second episode of Guides from the iMixer team. My name is Kel, and in this episode, I'm going to show you a little bit more about bots and how to use them to help you stream and interact with your viewers. We're going to show you a few that I've picked out, but it's also up to you, the streamer, to choose which one is best for you in your stream. I'm also going to show you a little bit more about Interactive and what you can do with it. Also, don't forget to join the iMixer Discord to get to know us better, and follow us on Twitter for updates. Alright, let's get going. Alright, hey everybody, welcome. We're going to show you a little bit about bots, a little bit about Interactive, what bots can do for you. I'm going to try to keep it short, so please uh, bear with me. Uh, we're going to just jump right into it. So, what I've got here is uh, I've got a couple of bots. Um, a few that I use, a few that, um, one that I haven't used quite as much, um, but I've downloaded all the bots that I could find, except for ScottyBot because their website was having issues earlier. Uh, but I wanted to show you, um, bots can be really helpful, right? So for one reason, they've got your chat. You don't have to have, if you've got a laptop or a second monitor or something, you can have your chat, right? Where they're right there for you to see really easily. Um, they also have games. They have most of them have currency systems. Um, you can set up commands and timers for like information that you want to pop up on the screen. Um, also for games, interactive. I uh, have them run sound effects. You can do uh, music. You can run music through them. Um, you can host people. Uh, Scorpbot is the only bot that I know of that has an auto host feature. Um, they've got a bunch of cool tools. Um, like text to speech, death counters, win counters, stuff like that. Uh, Streamlabs chat bot is another bot that has all these features. Um, this this bot in particular is a little bit more complicated to set up because you have to have some JavaScript. Um, you have to have something that can run JavaScript like Node. Um, but the, it has mini games, um, quote system, timers, a dashboard so you can change your title and all that stuff. Most of the most of these bots that um we're going to talk about today have all the same features they're just they just look a little different uh scotty bot um is one as well as mix it up bot and botizimo and scotty bot are the ones that you can run without downloading anything you initially have to like botizimo you never have to download anything uh Mix it up bot, Scotty bot, you do have to download um the GUI and set it all up. But that after that, once it's once it's on and connected and everything, you can minimize it or close it and run it from like a tablet or a phone. So if you're an Xbox streamer, Scotty bot, mix it up bot are and Botismo are, are the ones that can do that. Um almost all of them have uh, interactive features this one streamlabs chatbot does not i don't know when they are going to have interactive but uh, i use this bot more than any other i really love this one um so definitely check streamlabs chatbot out um mix it up bot is a fairly new one it's fully featured it's got a ton of great features um games currency ranks timers events that can happen. You can set up events. Um, it's got commands, interactive, um, song request is built into it. You can get all your channel stats right there. The same with uh, the same with uh, Scotty Bot. You can get all your your viewer stats and um, your commands and your currency and all that stuff. Uh, Mix it up bot is the only bot that I know of that has. Uh, Gawkbox integration, and that's fairly new, but you can connect it to Mixer. You can have an overlay, OBS, slobs, XSplit. You can connect it to all your alerts systems, like everything. Uh, Firebot, on the other hand, is pretty limited. It's mainly just for like commands, a few events that you can set up. It's got a few moderation tools, but mainly a lot of people like myself use it just for interactive. Um, and interactive is great um, because you can make, this is totally wrong. Yay. Um, you can make buttons that your chat can interact with you with 
or have fun with or do all sorts of things like you can make games you can have it control the lights of your room you can have it say stuff in chat you can have it bring up a, a funny gif on screen just whatever you can create in your mind and if you know a little bit about uh, interactive controls um, you can do it um, I have a whole bunch set up. I've got sound boards, I've got graphic boards, I've got informational boards and stuff like that set up. But I wanted to show you how to set up your buttons. Uh, Scotty or uh, Scorpbot is one bot where interactive is built into it, so you can set up all your interactive stuff here and control it and everything. Um, I think it's the only bot there is right now that has that functionality. The rest of them, you need to set it up in the dev lab. So you you go to your profile, you click your icon, and you click on dev lab, and it takes you over to this page where it starts you out on info. You click on build um, or code. What you want to do is with your bot, like Firebot, when you're building your first buttons, you want to click on code, and it's going to give you a code number that you have to come over here and paste it right here in this box and it'll add the board you're trying to create. It'll add this board to what you're trying to, trying, trying to create. And you can create multiple scenes. Um, <clears throat> and what I mean by scenes is like, this is the default page, right? And then you can create another page of buttons for say like information buttons or another page for like informational buttons or graphic buttons. Or another page for whatever you want. You can have a whole bunch of them. Um, and you can set it up for desktop. Tablets and uh, Xbox consoles, whatever. And you can set it up for mobile. So each one of these buttons here changes the layout, right? Um, but to create a button, you got to click on new control. It can either be your button, a joystick control to control games and whatever else you can come up with um, a label is just uh, information that appears on the screen or on the uh, grid area mouse is like a mouse control movements and stuff like that a text box is actually just one of these that you place in your interactive area and uh, people can type into it uh, but to create a button you give it a name and you click button and you click add and it adds this and you can take this and you can add it anywhere you want within this grid and you can resize it to, to there's a max size that you can create you can make a button as bit as wide and as tall as that and that's a lot of space but you want to like you want to try to keep them small if you want to keep if you want to have a lot of buttons um but then you can go into this control you give it a name you set its spark cost right here so how much it's going to cost somebody to click the button is how much sparks it's going to use. Um, keyboard control just makes it so you can specify a key that somebody has to click or hold down while they click it or a key to use the button instead of the mouse. Um, the tooltip is pretty self-explanatory. When you hover over it, it opens up a tooltip. Uh, text size currently does not work, but you can give it a text color. Um, you can change the color of all kinds of things. Uh, the accent color which is the cooldown spinner, the border color, and then the focus color actually is just what happens when you hover over the button and it changes the color of the border. Uh, you can give it a background color or if you have an image or a GIF, you can host that image or GIF on Imager or IBB and then you copy the image address and then you come down here and you paste it in right here. And that's what the button will actually look like. Not a lot of people do this. Um, most people leave it blank or give it a color or they'll put a picture. But I like to use GIFs in a lot of mine. Um, makes them a little bit more unique. So the sky's the limit. Your imagination, just run wild with it. Um, but that's it. But you create the button here. And then like this is that the air quote physical button. And then you click save, right? Then you go into your bot, Firebot, or Mix It Up Bot, or uh, I believe Scotty Bot. If it has the interactive controls like that, then once you click Save and then Resync, the button appears here with all that information that you made on the Dev Lab, right? Then you can go in into the Edit function, 
and it shows the same information, changing the tooltip to what this is. You can give it a cooldown. If you leave it blank, people can spam it, which gets kind of annoying. So give it a cooldown. You can do whatever you want, 30 seconds, um, 100 seconds, whatever. Threshold is how many clicks it needs before it's activated. None on the permission side here. None means everybody can use it. Group is a specified group of people or people in a, in a group for a scene. Individual is you can give someone a button and only they can click it. And then what you need to do is you click on effect. If you want to like, this is an example of a yay button. You click on effect. You can, you can do all sorts of things in here. You can, I'm going to give it a celebration which all that is is shows fireworks on screen and we will give it 10 seconds worth of fireworks uh give it another effect which make it a chat message you can post in chat as a streamer or the bot and you can actually put emotes in here global emotes will show up click add add to the chat effect and you can also give it a sound or an image and we're going to do, 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 do like this, turn it down because this one's kind of loud. Um, you can also give it an image, which can be if you, if you click on image, you can use GIFs. If you click on video, you can give it a video. Um, it has to be. Uh, I wonder, I don't remember if they got the MP4s fixed or not, but you can it can be an MP4 of a local video or a web uh, file format. You can also do YouTube videos if you want. Um, and what that does is pick a video. You can tell where you want it to show up on the screen. Um, make sure you give it a size. I like to do 800, 450, and it shows up quite nicely in a space provided. Um, you can change the effect, how long it needs to be on the screen, how loud the video is. Um, and then you click right here. You can grab your overlay and paste this into your uh, broadcasting software. And that's where it will show up on screen. Uh, since this is not going to be a video, we're not going to do that. Um, but if you guys have questions, definitely hop into the Discord and ask me or ask anybody else. Um, more, we're more than willing to, to help anybody out with any kind of technical stuff like that. Um, but after that, that's it. You've, you've made your button. You've added all, your things, all the things that you need to do. You come down here and you turn your buttons on you'll see it light up it's connected to interactive chat and the constellation this is your overlay you'll have to refresh it sometimes uh, but then you go into your stream and boop there's your button and there's the the image that we the gift that we chose so once somebody comes into chat they click it uh nope i was trying to do this emote um but that's it. Pretty simple. Um, have fun with it. Sky is literally the limit. Your imagination is the only thing that's limiting you to it. Uh, make sure you choose whichever bot you want that is best for you. Um, and just have fun, right? So, again, if you guys have questions, don't don't feel bad about coming into the Discord and tagging me. My name is Kel, again. Um, tag me down in the tech support channel. Um, hit me up on Twitter. And um, I'm more than happy to help anybody out with what I know. I'm not a professional. I'm not a partner streamer. I'm, I, I can get information from other places. I can even direct you to people that know more about stuff than I do. But uh, if you do need help, don't, don't feel bad about tagging me or stopping by streams or whatever. Um, but anyways, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. This is all I got for right now. I hope it was informative. I hope it helps you. Um, I hope I covered everything. But until next time, we will see you around. Don't forget to stop into the Discord or iMixer and also follow on Twitter for updates. Um, we will see you guys out there. Have a great time streaming. Make sure you have fun doing it. Keep a smile on your face.